Our pet of the week is Bailey. She is a two year old terrier mix. She's sweet and loving, a bit shy at first, but once she opens up, she'll be sure to steal your heart. She's great with kids, other dogs, and loves to go on long walks. Bailey will be available for adoption starting tomorrow. She'll be at the North Texas Humane Society's Puppy in the Window event. It's at Neiman Marcus at the shops at Clear Fork from 10 to 6. And now for Wild Wednesday, let's send it over to CBS 11's Jake Shannon. Well, hey guys, Jake Shannon here at the Fort Worth Zoo for Wild Wednesday. We have a porcupine, it looks like. Kristen Garrett with the zoo. Kristen, tell us a little bit about this guy. This is Thistle, and she is an African Cape porcupine. Uh, it's one of the largest species of porcupine in the world. She's very curious. Um, very, very curious and uh, kind of scary looking. But... It, it can be because they are covered literally in thousands of quills and they use that for defense. But don't worry, she's not going to use them on you. And in the wild, they would use these and actually shoot them out. Is that correct? No, nope, that's just a myth. Um, they can't shoot their quills. What they do when they get upset, they're going to give you a couple of warnings. They're going to stomp their feet. Um, they'll, then they'll start rattling those quills. And since those quills are just made of modified hair, loose ones go flying. And that's probably where people got the idea that they could shoot their quills. Tell me a little bit about her training. Well, Maria here has been target training her. It's one of the many techniques we use for training. So when she touches her nose to a target, she gets a reward. Um, and so she targets her to move her around the room, um, to do natural behaviors. Kristen, I understand there might be a really cool rescue story involved. There is. Uh, her journey to the Fort Worth Zoo was very long. She was actually running around the wilds of Oregon for two years. Um, and Oregon Zoo actually got her into a Kennel carrier and brought her to the zoo, did an exam, find out she's perfectly healthy, um, and they didn't have room for her, so we had room here, so she made her journey to Fort Worth. Chris, where can folks see this beautiful porcupine? She's part of our animal outreach team. Um, we do stage shows during certain times of the year, so she's a available there um, and she's just starting her training to be able to travel to schools because that's the main part of our day we go out to schools we show kids all kinds of amazing native and exotic animals so if you guys want to see the porcupine come out to the Fort Worth Zoo with mobile 11 Jake Shannon CBS 11 news